This is a general question really that uh, uh, pretty much um, it talks about holding elections in Africa. Elections that are considered really to be free, fair, credible, and verifiable. What do you really think needs to be done in order for that to happen so that uh, the average person in Africa really the average voter has confidence in their institutions, that the institutions, at the end of the day, will deliver, and they will deliver something that reflects the will of the people. Is, uh, if I take example of Senegal, I think uh, we don't say it that much, but the, the transparency of the process, and then the media, because in Senegal, I remember when uh, Abdou Diouf lost the power in 2000, mm. the day of the election, whatever result was published right. in the local bureau, local radios, everybody has the right to put it on the air and publish it. Mm -hmm. Before the end, even of the counting, by only listening to the radios, mm -hmm. you knew what was the real result in Washington, D.C., in Arlington, everywhere. There was and, transparency. And that, you don't have it even in Congo. We just changed government in, uh, last week in DRC, Democratic Republic of... It is said that it is only the Electoral Commission, radios, TVs, don't have the right to publish the result coming out of the Bureau of Vote, local vote. And I don't see that also in the country of Mr. Sasungeso, where she was ambassador. You don't Even, have the right uh, to do that. The former Congo so Brazzaville. So you will arrive at a situation where when people uh, cast their vote and the result is somebody else who published it and nobody can contradict him. What happened in DRC, do you see in uh, December, the radios were not allowed to publish whatever was there. So the Electoral Commission decided, okay, Mr. Felix Tisegidi won, and the other guy is saying the contrary. And it's the same in Uganda, your own country. You don't have the right, the local radios, private radios and papers, to publish what, uh, how people voted in Kampala or in any other city, Antebe, because there is a guy there for 33 years, and he wants to stay there. There is no transparency in holding elections in most of African countries.